Hello people, this is Ron and Araja playing Changed Blind. Now, this game was recommended to me by Sniper 13 and uh, I will have to say, already now, the eerie silence is kind of, well, eerie, but let us see what happens. New life. This game is not, an, not to any person, organization, region, country, at this game will not give player any hints initially. Please search every clue. Very well. Easy mode or normal mode? Well, I have no idea what you do in this game, so I will start with easy. Easy mode is for players who hope to enjoy the game easily. However, you can't play all of it unless you do normal mode. Try to stay hopeful. Experience 1, 2, 3, 4... Hmm... Maybe I should then go back and I take it into normal mode, but I will try easy and then see about normal mode. Experience 1. What? Your eyes sting under the intense light, but you can still make an effort to open your eyes and take a look at the situation you're in. Through your hazy eyes, you discover that you are in a very unfamiliar room. Your limbs feel weak, your head is spinning, but the most gripping thing is your mind is the, in, on your mind is that it feels like you haven't eaten anything in years. You possess nothing but a small pair of shorts. You don't even think that they're your orig that they are originally yours. Obviously, you've been kidnapped. Your vague memories seem to align with this fact as well. You've been kidnapped by some, someone and they brought you here. You feel very confused, but you clearly understand that the first thing you should do is escape from this room. Alright, you only have one goal for now. Let's begin. Okay, let's see about movement. You seriously want to touch it? No. But, might as well. Who put these notes here? Do not touch them. If you don't want to be one of them, avoid them. I don't know how the can know the capsule password. I just hope you awaken and read this. Be safe, survivor. Are you talking about something dangerous? The handwriting of the note is rather messy. And from his content, it doesn't seem like it's written by a kidnappers either. You start hoping this is just a bad TV show. Nah, yeah, I'm getting... There are more notes on the second page. It's clearly in another person's handwriting. Please remember to dispose of the liquid waste and to clean up the sewer. Do not drop any sticky objects, samples or chemicals on the floor. Especially the samples. Alright. It says, hold shift to run on the photo paper. Uh. A sewer drain. Very well. Nothing happened. So one can assume that in this room that the power got cut. You looked inside, there's obviously no way you could climb in. However, you hear something that sounds like dragging and slipping around. So probably step back a bit. Hmm, what have we here? Full of pipes and wires. It's quite deep and dark inside. You can fit through it, of course. Oh dear! Uh. Okay. Uh, right. First mistake. Touch everything and try and actually get a clue. So what happens if I press old memories? That was the experience one. So does it just repeat what I have been doing? This is odd. I'm just going to see if this is just going and replay things.
Maybe it's because the memory serves as sort of a save function. Hmm. So this time around, I need to be careful not to get things up and running and cause events that might be beyond my control. Locked. You didn't find anything to open it with. Nothing happens. Tried unknown chemicals participate at the bottom of the test tubes. You're hungry as hell, but you're near, not nearly that desperate. You're super thirsty, but there's nothing inside, only dust. The contents are mainly air and paper. Hmm. Looks like this device controls the capsule, but it's broken. There's a lot of dust on top and no signs of use. So who turned it off? Hmm. So I can run, either run the risk, considering I don't really think there's anything else I can pick up here. Let's see. The screen? The screen doesn't work. Dust is all over it too. Hmm. Just strike me that this might be the one thing I have to do. Because I have nothing to unlock it with. It has been a while since I've been playing something like this, so, uh. A strange liquid has splashed onto the wall. It's probably not a good idea to touch it. Alright. Hmm. Didn't find anything to open it with. Alright, very well. So can I just exit this memory and then start a new memory? I am not certain. Because right now I am kind of clueless. Better just re-examine. Hmm. Hmm. What do I really have to activate this thing? So if I run when this thing comes around. Damn it, no, I can't avoid that thing. Oh, so I do believe that this form I turn into, I don't really know what it is. Okay, I'm going to give it one last try before I consider new lives. This game is very interesting, I have to say as much. Especially because, well, you only really have your own thoughts, and the landscape and the, well, surroundings are set up for you. Hmm. Just need to be certain to take everything. Okay, whoops. Uh, did it do? Okay, let's see what happens if I do touch it. Because of your insatiable curiosity, you put a bit of the odd liquid on your hand. And you instantly regret it. Liquid on your fingers start to spread. Your fingers begin melting and turning into the same bizarre material as the one pasted on the wall. You try to wipe it off, but it's too late. You realize that other parts of your body also began to transform like your finger. More and more of your body is melting like ice cream, but there's no pain. 
You can feel your internal organs somehow flowing like liquid inside your body. Lots of the liquid is dropping off your body gradually. All of this, all of it is part of your body. A mass of liquid is dripping off from the upper part and then flows near your feet. Your body feels very strange now. It feels like every part of your body is molding together like you're made of rubber. Your body feels very light. As transformation gradually stops, you begin to check yourself. You began to check yourself over. You are a slime or a kind of latex creature now. You stretch your new body. It's much more flexible than before. Maybe this isn't so bad. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. Again, I'm going to try it another last time before I have any thoughts of new memories. Right, so lesson learned, regardless if it's from that vent over there or what is on the wall, do not touch it. Instead, look for something that is probably strong enough to break open the door. Maybe. Right. Let's try the button a few more times. Nothing happened again. Again, one can never know. Maybe something changes after a few times. No, there's nothing to open this with. I really think I am somehow supposed to let this thing out, so maybe it... Let me see, how many squares do I have to work with here? A few. Maybe, maybe I can make it. Come on, then. Come on, sucker. Ah! What was that? Was it some kind of living milk pudding? Whatever it was, this place is clearly not safe anymore. It's not the best time to think about it too much. So maybe just grab if there was something in here. Upon close inspection, there appears to be a bottom deep inside. Put your hand in the vent, carefully winding around wires and pipes inside. Finally, you manage to push it. Click. Does that do something? Controls the capsule, but it's broken. So one can hope that that was a problem. Okay, we are out. This place is a mess, seems like it's been deserted for a long time. What are the people who kid where are the people who kidnapped you? It doesn't look like there are humans anywhere around this area. You shivered. You have a feeling that your troubles had only begun. Or maybe you're just cold. Let's focus on finding a way out first. You can input the password and this machine seems it's connected to the door on the right side of this corridor. Uh, I have wrong password. Try to find a clue somewhere. Indeed. A corrugated box made out of corrugated cardboard. Sort of papers, glass shards, and CD fragments are in it. Inclusion trash. Not necessarily. In this situation, any resource can be used. 
I mean, here we have a broken coffee mug. You don't get too close to this broken cup. You aren't wearing shoes. True. And that looks like a wrap of paper. A pile of excellent garbage. If I have to check every box, I will. Hmm. Let us look in the big box. Hmm. Broken CDs and what have you. Large cardboard box sealed with tape. Can I open it, I wonder? Apparently not. A pile of beautiful garbage. Hmm. Okay, let's think about this. We have excellent, beautiful up here. An unusual machine. When you stand in front of it, it scans your iris and makes a record of your progress. Is that some sort of attendance machine? If you will. Please go here. Thank you. That's always nice. And a paper, some report has Ryan written on this. The experiment failed again, so I locked the room. But this time, it got so close that I almost blew up the entire building. I manipulated the pattern on the ceramic tiles on the floor. Bigger tiles are the key. Hmm. The password of the storage room is hidden across the floor. I saw there were, there were rats inside the storage room, so I brought a cat in. But yesterday, we lost it after it ate our sample. Also, there's something about the balcony. It looks like a wild cat. How could a wild cat be on top of a building like this? All new subjects aren't, exper aren't experimented on voluntarily. We have at least five subjects here. I'm sorry for them, but as you can see, to save us all, we need them. We need their sacrifice. Sacrificing a few lives is the preferable option when it means saving many, many others. I see. Anyway. Sorted. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what happened here. And the final one is... Okay, rather, that was the one before. Beautiful. The gate is still locked. It didn't find the way out. Very well. Okay, the bigger tiles for the one. Oh, I see now. This should be something I can figure out. Let's see what we have here. First we have... Seven, one, four, two, one. Okay, so let's just repeat that. Seven, one, four, two, one. Oh, damn me and the numbers. I'm not good at remembering. Okay, seven, one, Four, two, one. Seven, four, two, one, I believe. Sorry. Seven, four, two, No, let's see. Okay. Seven, one, four, seven, one, four, two, one. Seven, one, four, two, one. Seven, one, four, two, one. I think. Something open. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. Okay, 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 okay. Clearly, we need to find a way to... Do we pluck this, or... 
Wait, hold on. Rana, use your head. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. I think I have an idea how to deal with this. Maybe. Again, I can't really guarantee it's a success. Seven. Okay, it was one four. Seven. Oh, my God. It's all part of the experiment, Rana. The man in the picture was turned into a dog. If you touch that thing, would it be the same for you? Wait a minute, that was not here before. An old newspaper. It is a serious new flu report. The newspaper looks very old and yellowed, but the date seems very recent to you. How long have you been asleep? You don't know whose notes these are. If you want humanity to continue, we must change... If we want humanity to continue, we must change our teeth. There's no other choice. Is it too late? It matters not, as long as I can live. Even if I have to reject my humanity. The papers on the back are all medical terminology and chemical formulas. You don't understand the leg of it. Reject my humanity. Only rubbish, huh? Come to li literary. I wait. I wait you. Who left this? It sounds like come to the library. I await you, but that might just be me. Discover it, Rust. You can't press it. Start to wonder what the button does. And one can wonder if there's another one of these little things. Still remember what happened before. You don't want to get too close. Very well. Similar to a machine you have, but it's closed. Still coated in dust, though. Well, there's no dust in this hole, but the darkness is making you uneasy. Hmm. So nothing, essentially. This is the room I came from. It might just be me, but the whole zink thing and sound just kind of has me unnerved. Also, for goodness sake, I forgot to check on the recording. Just a moment, folks. Right, and I am back. Let us go around and do a little bit more looking into this before... Oh. Uh. What have we here? The sunset shines on the collapsed buildings below. You're standing in a tall tower that you have never seen in any news report. A strange place surrounded by ruins. Only this tower stands amongst the rubble. Where is this place? Staring down at the broken walls below, 
you are on the verge of panic. Are these the ruins of the city? There's nobody around that could help. You're too focused on the view, unaware of the civet behind you sneaking off from the roof. Sneaking from the roof. That is absolutely not a normal civet. It appears to be made of rubber. You're knocked over by the so-called civet, landing hard on the floor below. You have no time to care about what kind of civet it is. You just know that you're in trouble. This huge, human-shaped feline is approaching you, slowly licking its lips. It lowers its front paw in an attack posture. You're staring at it, and it's staring right back at you. At this moment, the time seems frozen. The big cat attacked you before you could run, but you didn't expect this big cat wouldn't pounce. Instead, it transformed into a kind of goo and it closed your entire body. Your whole body starts to feel oddly sticky and warm, then feelings of comprehension as the latex on your body shrinks. It's starting to become difficult to think, your consciousness is merging with the creature. You've been transferred by this cat. You now think that the, what the net cat is thinking as you lick your lips in satisfaction. Examine your new body, feeling surprisingly happy about it. Maybe one day you'll forget that you were ever human. The adventure ends here. Mm, yeah. Although... I just had a thought. Just give me a moment. Please. Right, as said, I had a thought. Now... We can all agree that, that that thing that comes closing out the door is pretty much a danger to me. So if I could possibly lure it over here, then maybe that a civet out there might be able to distract it long enough, even if I am kind of gambling with the fact that there's not exactly a lot of room out there. Well, it's worth trying. Okay, what was the code again? Seven, four, one, and then I believe it was two, one. Then I believe it was in reverse. Let's see. Seven, yes. Rana, get your numbers right. The four would be here, and the one would be here. Okay, get ready to bolt for it. One last try. Or maybe we should actually do the smart thing and investigate some of the other rules before I unleash that beast. No, 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 Why would one just it's just a piece of trash and you don't even have any pockets? Although there's a note in there that could also be of importance. But it's guarded by some of these beings. No, 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 they're still moving even in their separate little squares. Mm hmm. Very well then. Okay, that in here where it was practically swarming with the things. Okay, well, I am actually protected. I didn't see that. Controls up, down, left, right. Did space, escape, one, alt, end. Okay, thank you. What are in these? You probably could move these, this box easily. But it's definitely a bad idea right now. Yes, it is. Let's see. What does space do? Space does nothing right now. Yeah, nothing has changed. Books written here, the experiment failed again. Very well. 
We get it. I was also in here. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Mm hmm. I don't know if it's that big, but I might as well have a little experiment here. Oh, okay, too quick. Pick up a word. One last time before the end of the night to see if I can find some means to hinder this guy. Seal with tape. Another one, see if I tape. Mm. I really am too quick to press this thing, I swear. You are kind of an expert of failing forward, are you not? I'm not. Let's see. exploring and then that'll be it. This game is addictive. Very addictive. Let's see. We had beautiful and I believe that on the other one we had brilliant. Oh, excellent garbage. Was there anything that changed after the second time you are out here? Hmm. One wonders. That piece of information is something I need to check. Hmm. Might as well just try to save here. And this was the room where they are basically flooding the place. Mm. 
this is puzzling. Yes, but a cup would still be a better weapon than my own fist. This is done in that position. <laughs> spawn another, spawn another, spawn another, spawn another, spawn another. Wait a second, it spawned another one of these things. And I didn't get time enough to actually have a look at that, that clue. So I will just have to try that again. Moment. Please, just do you save? See, don't fire. Something, something, something. Didn't exactly get all of that. Feeling me out. Yeah, I will believe that. Wait, what was that? I did not exactly get all the information from that piece of paper. Or something about don't use saves or something like this. In this case, that will still be a bit of an interesting situation because this is difficult in my mind to imagine doing without having to save. Now, I will try and see what happens if I spawn more of these things. It is risky, but I kind of am curious, and I would also like to see what this thing really is. What's so bad? Maybe I can actually pick it up. Maybe it will actually have some use. But right now, I get the feeling I'm basically stumbling through the dark. Hmm. What did we have here? Well, I must admit, I'm kind of leaning towards a blind spot here, so um, I think that will be it for today, but just for safety's sake, because again, I don't want to risk it, I'll just go back to my own little cell. You're not alone, perhaps other creatures are wandering around here, you should leave quickly. Is there anything else? Yep. Wait, hold on. Anything changed? No. Nothing really changed. But still, at least I have a way out of here. I just need to be able to handle that thing out there. But for now, this has been Ron and Araja playing Changed Blind. See you around, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.